Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler. Welcome back to to the continuing saga <laughs> of RimWorld. I've had Handy out here early the next morning from last episode, setting traps. So she reset these and she's building new ones through here. So right now I've got her laying out the last of the conduit because i got to make sure we can actually get to the conduit. How did I lay that out? Was I smart or was I not? Uh, power. got to think about that. She needs to be able to get in to make repairs. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't. I wasn't smart there. Hmm. Well, we'll have to, I'll, have to, I'll have to come up with an answer for that. These can't be in the middle. Because you got to repair them if they go boom. And you, they're going to walk through the... Well, if they go boom, that means that somebody tripped the trap to get in there to make them go boom. And then they'll, they'll repair them. So next time we get some, some friendlies that come through here and trip all of our traps on their way in. Some future friendlies. Some, you know, angry future friendlies. Um, and these are all tripped. I'll have her delete these and build new ones right through the doors. That way she can always get back to repair them later. Yeah, this, this is repairable here. This is here all from this side. But you can't get to that one from in here. So that's a problem. Yeah, this is just randomly thrown in. Let's just toss some pathways in to get up here. But yeah, I can see now that could have been thought out a little better. Anyway, that's what Handy has been up to. Tomislav right now is about to go tend and treat everybody. And wanted to take a look at this so we've got basically well I can't move my mouse with well, the lower half there flu minor 50% so the flu is progressed to 50% of its of its life when he gets to 100% flu now okay I haven't seen this since alpha 13 so I'll have to wait and see how that works it said minor the entire time started out at like 38% um, Natalia was further along she was in that bed where'd she go right there flu no, she's 50% also. I'm wondering if 51% is going to go from minor to major or something like that. Or if it's got to count up to 100% during minor and then start over for the next stage. But either way, the flu is going to go up to 100. You want to get your immunity. See, she's at 71% down there. You get to 100 before the flu gets to 100. It's, it's, it's a little bit of a race. They're, I've gone through them all. They're all in pretty good shape. Most of them, I went ahead and set their, their beds to... Uh, to hospital beds to uh, uh, be able to, to get through this a little bit faster. did some reading today. Lady Shell sent me some wiki links about hospital beds, and I thought, what about a regular bed? Turns out that a regular bed, when you switch it to hospital bed, it'll give you three more hit points of healing per day or per something. So there is a little bonus to healing when they're actually in a blue bed than a green bed, but nothing like the, the bonus you get with a real hospital bed uh, plus the I think it was 8% bonus I don't remember what it was now but when you add the vitals monitor it then almost doubles again so that's definitely what we want in our hospital later but for now having them in their beds will uh, increase their rate of healing and having them bed at all beside you know other than walking around is, is even better though we have a lot of things we need to get done so I'm going to kind of balance between how bad they really are and getting other things done so uh rabbit most of them are right around the 50 percent mark or halfway you know i want to i want to say the halfway through but that's not really it the immunity is the halfway through part so 71 percent immunity has been formed so when the flu gets to 100 percent, i think that's when you get the risk of them dying from it. So you want to get the immunity built up before you get the flu built up. In case I'm wrong with all that, we'll, we'll kind of watch this through this episode and see how this works. I have a feeling that they're going to be done with it this episode. We'll see if that's true or not. But um, let this thing go. Thomas Slav, I told him to self-tend because Natalia at the time was sick in bed with a flu. But this isn't an issue that needs to be... Uh, you know, we need to min-max and be, be worried about. Just need to get it administered, that's all. Uh, colonist needs treatment. Catherine just... Well, she just went off to get a meal. And she'll head back to a hospital bed soon and, and get treated, I'm pretty sure. 
Oh, she's relaxing socially because she was getting a little cranky there and Natalia got up out of her sick bed and walked over and sat down next to Kathra and spent a bunch of time cheering her up while I was busy working uh, Missa P and Michael to death over here in the, in the mines. <laughs> and Handy was up here setting traps. That's, that's what we spent our night doing, but it's time to turn the game back on and, and uh, see how this is going. Where did she ever end up? Andy is over here laying um, wiring, essentially. So I'm still watching her pathway, make sure she never gets the urge to walk through a trap. Now everything is, is tracking the way it's supposed to. Good. You're up here to get more steel. Okay, good. And I did find more marble over here, so may as well... Or limestone. Limestone. Oh, I thought that was marble. Okay, cancel that. No point in spending the time tearing that down. We're not really using limestone blocks. If it was marble, then I would have had all that hauled in and, and used it out in here. I've been laying out a lot of these walls. So Alicia's gone to work over here. Where do we want her used the most? Um, How about into here? Why don't you work on this area? Now what else did I do here? Um, I got into this a little bit. Started rethinking that kitchen and the 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 meals refrigerator. It just it was so weird the way it was laid out. It just that's just the way it happened to land. But I didn't like that that you know all the space that was left over turning into this guy. So I turned the kitchen sideways. I can still get three sets of cook stoves in there and make it look pretty nice. And then out of the well, double hallway into the kitchen, cook stove, cook stove, cook stove straight into the refrigerator, straight into the, the freezer, straight into the meat locker. So nice, even straight pathways this time. And then top of the kitchen drops into the upper half of the of the food or the meal storage and then out the bottom into what's now a slightly expanded um, dining room and uh, rec hall. So that's uh, little by little, this is starting to come together. And by taking my time doing this, I'm able to stare at this a while and say, you know, there's a better way. Unlike this one where I didn't have the time to, to realize that was not the best place to put those conduits. All right, so let's pause for a second and do a kind of a roll call just to see how everybody's doing. Health, flu. Okay, in fact, if I do it right there, I should be able to hit everyone. So, Tomislav, flu is 51%. His immunity is 95%. He was the best one of them all. So he's going to be done with this here real quick. Well, he's going to be done with it when the next round of medicine hits. He's still required to get one more. Even though it'll say 100%, he'll still be stuck with the symptoms of the flu and, you know, the minus 5 manipulation, minus 10 breathing, all that, until it finally times itself out. So it doesn't mean too much right there. Um, all right, we still get handy with the the old fibrous mechanitis. Rabbit's got it. He's 51% along and 74% healed of it or immune. Um... We've got here Klaus. He's 74% immune. And Sangria, 75% immune. Kathra, 74. They're, they're all basically there, except that uh, Tomislav must have an increased uh, rate of healing. So he's gotten over a lot quicker than the other ones. 73% uh, for Natalia. Uh, Michael still has fibrous mechanitis. Mesa P is clear. Alicia's clear. And back to Tomislav. So we're, we're going to be just fine. We could keep them all in bed. If I took them out of bed, I have a feeling they would all still be just fine. So we'll go a little bit longer with this. And then, uh, in fact, where did Tomislav go? He went back to research. Okay. I took away his order to rest until healed. And Natalia, I told you just to go get something to... Natalia, there you are. Okay. So you are not down here. You are heading for bed. Okay. So, Thomas, I want you to go take care of her. You will on your own when you get to the end of that bar. So, I'll just let you do that. Anyway, Michael, you've been down here a long time. I did take off the prioritize command there. So, I would imagine now that you've just ticked over there, you're going to finish this job here. Then you're going to take off and go take care of yourself. Right? Drop those off, drop those off, and off you go to rest. I'd much prefer you grabbed a meal first. So I wonder if that will, if the meal was in between him and his bed, if, if the game would have sent him there instead. 
curious to see how they how they work with this new layout. When their bedrooms are down here, the meals are right there, and they're typically going to be working out here. We'll see how things change if things change. There's little nuances of the game that you really can't tell because you've got to have you know a baseline. You can have something to compare to to realize that something has changed. Anyway, I had Michael lay out a lot of the the marble blocks. Just kind of fill the whole area with them. Figured that Handy would, would work her way down in here soon and put it all together. I really wish, though, that she would work on getting lighting in here. So let's do... Hmm. Let me think about that. If I have you do this one, then you should bring enough to, to do these two. Okay, we'll light up each room. Keep it bug-free for a while. There's two in here I want to get done to. I'm hearing tapping up here somewhere. Was it just Alicia? Yes, it is. Miss P, you went this way. Well, I guess if we just let her go this way and needs, yeah, you're you're about to walk all the way out there to walk all the way back. So instead, why? Let's have you do do a job nearby. Um, but as soon as we get all these little things done, then the less chance they're ever going to want to walk back over here and work on them again. So, where to send you to get something done that's really close nearby? Why don't you give me a little more of a, a little more of a pathway toward this kitchen? You can do that. You'll probably break about here and go over here and tap with Alicia for a while. Then you'll, then you'll call it done. That's right, Shantigo. I forgot about you. You've got the 2.5, a two and a half times global work speed right now. Our meals are catching up real quick um let's have you haul this in and then haul that one and once everything resets give you till about here and then we'll see if we can haul this one good so you'll load up your workstation and get back to work again then we have this sitting out here to put away yeah lots and lots of little jobs andy's bringing wood down we got to get another load of wood in We've depleted everything we've got down here. And all we have is the stuff out here and right there. So we need to get a hauler, run back and forth and fill this up. Then once this is full, what do we need over here? Inspiration Go Frenzy. Okay, we're paused. Who, what, how? Sangria has been inspired. She will walk one and a half times faster for the next 24 hours. I was just talking about needing someone to do some hauling. Well, let's jump to... How are you doing? Health, you are 77% done and still 50% minor. Who's gone beyond 50%? We'll come right back to Sangria. There's 53% and it still says minor. So does it hit 100 and then it drops into major at 0 and counts up to 100 there? Or is minor just the, the stage that... I don't know how, how beta 18 works compared to alpha 13. So I'm kind of still kind of learning the little nuances of things. Normally it didn't, I don't remember giving a percentage for the flu. It just gave you a you know, major, minor, critical, extreme, and then you were dead. And we've been on minor this entire time. So it makes me think that it's not working the same that it did for our last series. Something's been, been uh, altered there a little bit. But Sangria, I'm going to say that you're going to be fine. Let's break the order of you having to to uh, rest through the rest of this. And which means what? Probably work and sangria and bed rest to two. I think that's how it's going to work. And you are not actually sleeping. Well, you're... No, there's no good little green arrow, so you're not actually sleeping. You've hit the end and you're on your way back. You could use some joy right now, but if I were to have you... Pop out over here and haul that. Let's get down to the numbers. So that's most of that group. Haul this. And... I guess that. 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 And that. That should accumulate enough to be a groups of 75 and be done. Then we need to do some more chopping. Unfortunately. Oh, we got a little more up there to get rid of too. Hmm... Okay, and it might be nice. Her walk speed is fast. Okay, this 
try that again. Stockpile is set for important. I've got this one down here set for critical. Right. Important. Preferred. Let's take you to critical. I really want some wood brought back into the base again, as well as a little bit of iron. So she'll probably drop the first one off right there, and then she'll get new commands for the next one to go to the critical one. Yeah. Then later, maybe maybe after this episode, I'll have Handy pop back in and do a few more of these, and gradually we'll get done. But she is sleeping. Okay. So Sangria, we're going to say, is well enough to go back to work. Hopefully I'm not going to regret that, but flu, 50, still 50%. Now she's at almost 80% immunity. I'm pretty sure she's fine. And I'm really kind of thinking about doing that to the rest of them. Flu, 53 and 79. Okay. Klaus, flu, 52 and 79. Kathra, 54 and 79. And Natalia has it. She's 53 and 78. Okay. Not the last of them. Michael doesn't have it. Shantigo doesn't have it. Tomislav. You. Oh, there we go. Nice nice shield right there. He's got immunity. Da 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 da. And so he. Uh, minor. Develop immunity 49%. 48. Oh, well, you look at that. So it's going to count back down. The immunity is kicking the flu's butt is what's going on ah that's interesting okay now i've not uh, seen it work like that before so that's a little bit different than i remember i i can i can see how that how that works now though that that's that works i like that all right down here let's i just keep filling these in as we go just to make sure that i have a clue what is what there, there, that's filled in, that's filled in. We're good here, good there. Okay, that's all fine. And so, in other words, who was it that had the... the who was the worst off? I think it was Natalia. 80% and 54. None of the other ones are 54, but she is at 80%. All right, I'm going to say we're fine. So, Cathra, let's... If I were to do that, what would you do? You'll get up and go grab a meal, because you need it. And for the duration of this, we'll have to reset these later. But Cathra, let's take you down there. Uh, Klaus will take you down. Rabbit will take you down. Boom, boom. That's it. Okay. Uh, Shantigo is no longer inspired. Well, we got a, got a bunch of work done anyway. Shantigo, where are you at anyway? You are making kibble. That's right. Lady Shell had suggested that we think about upping the uh, the kibble supply since we have a lot more animals now. That's a valid thought. They're out over here. Yeah. So you were kibble. Stockpile. Hey. You. Hey. You. Kibble. Okay. Let's... Someone just needs a treatment. Okay. Let's zone add a little bit more to you. We'll do that. We'll double it up. In the house, though, 75 are still sitting here, though. He may have just made that. Oh, you guys. And so let's just add another 75 out here for now. We'll go that route, which means this guy. And bills and kibble and details. So if I took you up to that many more, it's suggesting 176, which is 50, 49 less than... Yep, that works. Okay. Perfect. Alright, so that is Shantico doing that. Good. And meals? We're 52. That's why he's doing it, because we're out of the other ones. Then hopefully get to the butchery and get the rest of these done, of the animals, and we're good. Okay. So, I know something that I've been trying to do the last two or three episodes, and I keep forgetting about it. we got two new benches here we haven't really explored. Just popped into this and never got any further. Let's... Hmm... I don't want to use up all of it. We have plenty of this. Let's try to maintain 50 blue medicine. Let's do until we have. Okay, that kind of works. Until we have 50. So, something like that. Does this also have a pause when you have? Okay, it does. So, let's go to 60. 
like so and pause until we have 49 something like that okay that's good uh, radius doesn't need to be much can't see I can't zoom out from here to see where that is but all the supplies are going to be local unless they're up in that other stockpile okay we'll kick it out to a little bit a little bit more all right um nothing to do here take the best stockpile yep yeah, we're close enough just go ahead and put it away um allowed okay so there were requirements for this right there medicine six crafting intellectual skill okay allowed intellectual skill but minimum skill is six for medicine and three for crafting okay I'm sure that makes sense to somebody, but <laughs> um, so basically our doctors are going to do it anyway, and their intellectual skills are oh, at least a 10 and above already. I think they're 11 and 13, at least they were last time I checked. So that's not an issue there, but you'd think that there'd be a minimum intellectual skill if we're choosing our intellectual skill that we're going to be, make a minimum. Hmm don't have a clue on that one and no pop-up to give me any clues otherwise we got to have at least a six medicine and and three in crafting i know natalia's got the crafting because she was out there making blocks i think tomislav does too but i'd have to check requires one herbal medicine one neutramine and three cloth so more cloth than i thought i thought it was one for one but it's it's actually three to one in those okay so summer's coming spring is almost here middle of spring we should be growing again so no no worry about that and with the purchase of all that that blue medicine that helped out a lot too so that is this we're going to go until we've got a total of 60 of them and we probably got that in stock cloth is in here somewhere from that last round um we're good we're good that's that now what i also wanted to take a look at was this oh that was that this one this is our machining table. Bills, add bill. So with this table we can make, we can disassemble mechanoids, which we haven't seen in this series yet, thank goodness. Those are the, those are the boogers. Those in poison ships. <sighs> um, shells for our mortars, high explosives, or incendiary, which make fire, or EMP, which short out electrical things like mechanoids. Fire foam shell puts out force fires. I wonder if you can shoot it into your colony and put out a, a room that's on fire. That would be kind of interesting. Of course, the mortars have a horrible aim. You'll light, you'll send off four or five of them before you even come close to your target. Um, we can make simple helmets or advanced helmets. Uh, example here, simple helmet takes two components, five plasteel, and, oh, that's the advanced one, and 70 ingredients. Okay, because you can make it of any different kind of metal. I think that's what it means there. Uh, close back into here. A simple one, though, would just take steel and components, right? 70 metals and one... No, it's just 70 metals, not even components. Okay, well, that's good to see. Um, armor vests are what I'm interested in. Now, as we get more research done, we'll be able to get into things like the... Uh, um, the gun is name I always lose when I think of it. Rabbit. That one, assault rifle. We'll be able to make those when we get into research. Oh, let's see here. How do I scroll that guy? Down in here, precision rifling? Assault rifles, there it is, right there. So we need gas operation, then precision rifling. We're gonna finish mortars real soon too. We're at 1944 research out of 2000. So that one's almost done. Then we want to probably go into this guy. And after that, moisture pump might be kind of nice. I notice there's water in a couple areas. In fact, I think there's water in our new hospital already. What are you? Oh, you're concrete. Okay. But I noticed this last time editing, and I was kind of surprised that I didn't get corrected. No, you can't because there's water in there. So we got water right here. So I'm curious to see if the moisture pump can handle that. I know it works for mud. Oh, we gotta have some mud here somewhere. It'll work for for this right here. Uh, that's rich soil, but there's mud right there. Mad animal. I never know if I'm paused or not. 
Nope, I'm not. I've got it set to pause on alert, but I always automatically pause too, which then unpauses on alert, and then I have to click it again to unpause my unpause, and then I have to look to see if there's any Z's moving. <laughs> oh, it's it's horrible. Um, we got a mad animal. Anyway, um, I know the moisture pumps take out the mud. They will not take out bodies of water, to my knowledge, which makes me a little worried that maybe our hospital is doomed. So let me know what you think. In beta 18, not in RimWorld in general, but in this version, will the moisture pump take out this water? Or is that considered a body of water like the river and it's just in there for good? So let me know what you think. Do we have mud in here anywhere? We don't. Hmm. So if we had a muddy area, we could have cleaned that up. So we may have to alter our plans a little bit here. I'm hoping it is it is limited to just these five squares. That one there, no, just this one, two, three, four. In which case, we can still kind of build around this. It'll be a little wonky looking, but it's still possible. I really wanted the hospital close to the food. I wanted the meals to be delivered easily. If we have to though, we could shove it over here and you know just move everything over one bay and then maybe production tables and storage in here and we'll just deal with the water in the middle of it but i'd rather not we'll see how that goes but if you know how the moisture pumps are working in this particular beta and if they can take away shallow water then let me know i would appreciate knowing that anyway we've got a mad animal what are you and a local hare has gone mad okay now the little ones right over here you're gonna go this way anyway the little ones typically don't set off the traps it's the bigger ones that that uh, are more likely to is there any kind of a you know this game is full of stats do you have a stat that says how likely you're gonna trip a trap does something like that even exist now if you have your, your quantity of, of, of filth rate <laughs> you think you'd have you know trappable um, trainable intelligence Nothing there, nothing there. So, race, move speed, I think it'd be right here. Temperature, immunity gain speed. You gotta see what Tomasov's immunity gain speed is compared to some of the others. Body size, care capacity, diet. No, it doesn't seem to be anything like that, that that I'm seeing, unless I'm just glossing over it. Okay. Anyway, you're over here, and you want to go take... That's a grave. <laughs> you want to go take down Michael. Where's Michael? Okay, you're officially outside playing horseshoes. Okay, so you want to come through here. We could trigger this real quick. That should shoot at it. That would help. Okay, so let's turn you on. Shantigo, you were playing horseshoes too, but I need you to do an emergency f switch flick. And then I want to set you right here with your revolver. Who else is in this area? That's too far away. Over in here, Michael is... Well, since he's the intended target, although he's just going to turn the corner, isn't he? That's a problem. Okay, Michael, let's draft you and send you out to... Hmm. You've got the assault rifle, too. Right there gives you a clear shot of the area. Rabbit's on what side of the river? He is on this side right now. We'll see if he crosses right here. Okay. Um, Klaus... You needs, your rest is about there. You really need a meal, though. Um, you've got, you've only got a sniper, too. Okay, Tomislav's got a charge. Handy's got a revolver. Sangria's got a, a uh, she's viewing art. Needs, her joy is not too bad. Her mood is fine. So you're drafted, too. And run out here and get into a similar place right there. Okay. Let's take care of this this wily rabbit. He's coming around the top there. And Shantigo, draft and head over to here. That should get power here in a moment. There we go. And we should be in range in a moment. They're considered enemies, so we should autosave right then and there. Well, this goes terribly wrong. I can go back to an autosave, but there we go. Yeah, that rabbit you would think wouldn't have a chance, but man, I tell you, 
He, uh, what are you doing? You're just going to pound on that door even though this one's open. That was interesting. <laughs> okay. Thanks, guys. I know that was that was a bit scary. You'll, you'll have something to tell your grandchildren now. And Sangria is going to haul it because you're on hauling duty right now. Oh, did you fly through these? Well, kind of. Okay. Well, how's your how are your needs? Your needs are still fine. Okay. Then let's head back into here. When you're done hauling that, grab this one. And looking for 75. Looks like one more run right there. And that takes care of these. Though, it'd be nice to take care of these as well. So that one, that's about 90. There's about three runs out of here. So there, there, and there. Okay, that takes care of all that. I wish I had, well, I kind of did have your 1.5 run speed in the fibrous mechanitis of the other ones. So, yep, that's fine. It still worked out. All right, who's up? Who's doing what? And why have we not had a raid? That is really wild. We had a, well, we had an animal attack, and we had the flu, and there was something else last time, too. There was another little... Oh, the drop pods came in, crashed and blew into all these, but that's not considered a, a negative unless it just goes totally wrong. Michael, you're out here in the gloomy area. You are in great shape right now. That attend a wedding for 20. I hope that stays on there for a long time. Six days and 17 hours. Oh, weddings are good things. <laughs> Your fibrous mechanitis is gone. And you did have it, yeah. So, Tomislav, you've got, okay, immunity. 35% of the flu now. Immunity is no longer counting up. It doesn't exist. So, but you still have those symptoms until you get down to zero on the flu. That's interesting how they're doing that. Neat. Let's just run through this one more time. Who else? Um, okay, that's fibrous mechanitis for Handy, so she's still got it. Uh, flu, 88% and 56. That is rabbit. Because he's not in bed, so it's slowed down. But it's still going to... Although, Cathra went back to bed, I see. Just noticed her down there. And Klaus did too. Oh, it's one in the morning. And they want to sleep on a hospital bed. Okay, that makes sense. Um, you're at 88%. And 56. Okay. Uh, minor flu, 55 and 88 for Sangria. So 89. So she's almost immune. Cathra is down there, 88 also. And Natalia was, is 88 also. Okay, so we're doing fine. Okay, I'm hearing lots of tapping. Still don't see ya. There you are. All right, so Miss P's working in there. Is there a place that would be more advantageous to us? Not really. Yeah, that's fine. Let's set this wall in here. That goes up like so. There'll be a door dropped into there. And otherwise, everything else here. Mortars have been researched. And this time I can actually go to the screen. I wasn't, I'm not doing anything vital. Usually gets you when you're right in the middle of something important and you don't want to click away. IEDs next. Research. Okay. And that's still not using the microelectronics basic or bench. The, yeah, not requiring using this guy, high tech bench. So they can both sit in here and research if they want to. And Tomislav, speaking of, is going to go do that right now. Okay. Uh, Handy is going to put a lot of these guys together. So while you're at it... Now, I'll tell you, let's haul these away. At least get them into a place that's outside of a wall. Right there's good. Now come on over here and... Well, actually come on over here and haul that one away. And... Let's haul these. I want to clear all these and get all the stones set in them, all the, the blocks. All right, if you stopped, I'll tell you what, go right to there and stop. Okay, come get some more of them. I'll do this a few times. Clear all the, the blueprints of their obstacles. Right there. And then do this one. Then I'll have you just set blocks in. We've got quite a few made, several stacks. So there, and this one. 
And I also got almost everything set in here. If I can get a building this one, I think it will isolate Rabbit from the ugliness of the rest of the place. His sphere of influence is going to be limited to this room, which we then can clean up and increase the beauty in there. All right, you stop there and come get this one now. And then that's probably enough. All right, so those there. Now, can you load up this one with marble blocks and anything else in the area? Great. And he went up in here. Perfect. Now, well, most of the rest of these have got obstacles around them. Though you could actually load these up. That might be nice to get kind of get the sense of what this is going to look like. Yeah, load them up, but I'll get you back down here working on this, I think. Yeah, your needs are fine. You went over there. Okay, and let's get you to actually build these. Let's get this room done. All right, so Miss P's over here. Your mood is decent. Michael is coming into his nice new little, or soon-to-be new workshop over here. Yeah, maybe we can get a piece of art in here and kind of offset some of the negative 15 sitting around. That should be just fine. All right, so what else is happening? Um, we never finished this. Bills, right there. Armor vest, that's where I would like to go. It's going to require 120 steel and two components to make each one of those. Otherwise, we can make some weapons now. He heavy SMG machine pistol, bolt action rifle, pump shotgun, incendiary launcher, auto pistol revolver. So we can make a bunch of auto pistols to get our training up. Uh, 30 steel and two components makes an auto pistol. How much work? That's a secret. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's queue up. That didn't work. Bills. Let's queue up an auto pistol just for fun. And let's queue up a helmet just for fun. And then let's get to work on, uh, where'd they go? Armor vests. All right, so armor vests, we'll leave you last. We'll do one each of these just to see it happen. Otherwise, let's do 10 of these. So do until you have two. Something like that. I'll yeah, and as Heelroot died from rotting, oh, that's the the ones that are outside of the sphere of the of the sunlight, most likely. Um, although as soon as I say that and don't go to it and not verify it, we'll find out that this had malfunctioned and the, everything's dying. But uh, we're fine. Did that door get closed? It did. Okay. Anyway, back here. Turn you back on, and armor vest details. Okay. Um, so it's just steel. It's not what kind of armor vest you want to choose. Okay, so there's no choice here what kind of... Now, helmets would have one, right? Uh, details? Yeah, what do you want to make it out of? All right, we'll pick steel for now. We haven't got enough of anything else to make it worth it. Um, auto pistol, just steel. All right, so any choices I really have to make? We don't need to take to stockpile on any of these. It'd be fine just to drop them there. Somebody else will take them, or most likely they're just going to be picked up and and, and uh, equipped right then and there. Um, I don't think there's anything else that's truly necessary. Although, allow crafting skill. That could be beneficial. I don't know what our crafting skills really are right now. Let's, Tomislav, we were curious about you. Colonist needs treatment. Somebody will get to that. Um, needs a character. So your crafting was four. You have to have a minimum of three. And then six on medicine, and of course you're you're fine. So let's run through, what was I saying? The crafting skills. So Andy is an 11. And Shantigo... There we go. Natalia is a six. And then... That's it. Okay, so it's Handy or Natalia. So in that case, let's go ahead and set you to six. That way Natalia can do that. Uh, over here as 
well. I wish I could set the bench for six rather than the bill. That'd be so much easier. This this could be common among all the bills. That'd be a better way to do that. But I'm sure someone else has thought of that before and it was decided not to for some reason, so I'm not gonna argue that. Is there another shirt available? Is there a reason why that's not been filled in? Right there. Just waiting for a dog to bring it to it. Shantigo is topping these off. And right there, 75. Meals, 42. Probably time to get Klaus back into butchering duty. Yeah, let's do that. Klaus, are you still there? Warden, first. Bed rest. I have to see who's already over this stuff. I can reset them, but... Hunting. That is Klaus. Yeah, so cooking can be first now. Although... Okay, yeah, so you would have... At hauling, you would have never gotten back. Okay, so cooking is now your first likely. You don't have any hunting set. We, we should go out and look at the animals out there and see what's going on outside. Uh, mining otherwise. Okay. We got a lot of folks in here mining right now. We really do. Michael's going off to gather and find... Oh, hello. We got a, we have a room. We do. Okay. Well, Catherine's in here cleaning it all up. Um, let's set floors. Smoothing. Let's finish the room for smoothing. That and that. And, Handy, where are you right now? You are finishing the, the, the future dining room. Let's do this instead. And see if we can't... Well, we're only at a negative three now. So we're getting there. We're getting there. So get rid of all these negative ones and turn them into twos. Uh, okay, so apparently, Handy, no. Oh, that's right. Um, smoothing is at the very bottom with demolishing of the, uh, in fact, I can have you do that one, of the construction queue. So to do this, I'm going to have to basically do this. So let's just do, oh, half the room at this point. We'll do that group over there. That's enough for now. Did I just do something? I tried to get rid of this is what I did. Handy, you... Yeah, I think I just reset everything. I did. Okay, try that one more time. I want you to get rid of this. And then I want you to go ahead and do these six. Ah, uh, seven. Back all the way out the door. Okay, that'll work. You do those, and I won't right-click on anything else. All right, so this light got done... Those, this did not. I kind of want to get the lights in here before we get to work in this room again. Alicia, why don't you come on down here to the lit up areas and continue working down here. You're not triggered. Interesting. Let's make that happen. Orders. Uh, mine. Okay, what are you? You're a granite. You're a wall wall. Ooh. What's hiding in here? Interesting. Okay, let's deconstruct. <laughs> oh, what could possibly go wrong, huh? Alicia, you don't have any shooting skill. Handy does. Yep, Handy, I'm going to override you. And let's see just what is on the other side of this wall. We may be opening up something we don't want to right now. I didn't get any kind of a warning that there was some horrible sense of of horribleness in this area and it wasn't. Okay, you're marble and that's it. Okay, we're fine. Andy, you did that one? Great. And let's smooth out some more of these. Again. And what did I just have you do? Okay, there are two choices on that one. Ah, oh, refueling. Okay, I got the right one. All right, just do those. Otherwise, you're going to do that. Sangria is no longer in a go frenzy. Okay. And that is this. So I guess we can set all these to demolish. Though I'm still going to have to manually tell you to do them. And then I can have you demolish the floor. Uh, remove floor through that area as well. So off camera, I'll have her come through and, and completely tear that room down. Anything more over here? Well, you guys are 
crazy fast. Alicia, did I ever move you? I didn't, because I couldn't figure out what was going wrong there. Come do that one. Get you out down here in the light. And let's architect structure. Let's send you off into there. And you off into... Actually, there. And cancel that run. That is hallway. Right there. And cancel... No, that one's correct. There, there, there. We're... No! Psychic ship. Oh, the thing I dreaded the most. Okay, right click, get rid of you. What is this? A large piece of an ancient ship has crashed nearby. Your colonists can feel it in the back of their mind. Thank goodness they went to a wedding. Exhorting unspeakable acts. It must have an onboard AI persona with psychic protection ability, projection ability, and this AI is not friendly. Destroy it as soon as possible. <laughs> it's still coming in. Oh, and it's so far away. Man. Boom. Oh, that sound. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Closer would have been better. Because now we can't... Oh, man. We can't do a lot of the things I would normally do. What we did in Alpha 13 is I built a wall actually like right here right there with the corner open and then another wall here I would have gone out like this to there leaving the the corner the four corners open folks that melee can stand in that corner and kind of cheat through and tap at it with their sword and we can kind of tap away at this thing and get it down as soon as we tap on it, we got we got mech, mechanoids are going to pop out of here. If they had popped into those two little rooms right there with a turret in each one, we, you know, we would have taken them out a little bit. And then, yeah, we got to get rid of this guy to get rid of the noise. But protecting this guy are going to be mechanoids, and we're going to have to deal with those. And of course, we're on fire over here, which is. It might spread from these plants to here, and I'm seeing grass coming back, which means animals are going to come back. Um, after a while, this is going to incite all of the animals into a rage. Usually when you're over here working on the defenses, and then all of a sudden all the squirrels in the area come at you, if you're lucky. Otherwise all the wargs in the area come at you. Speaking of, we've got a boomalope that could be tamed. 0.3% chance of utter doom if we do. We've got a couple of Ibex over here that have roamed in. We've got grass now, so they'll hang around. A couple more Boobaloaks have walked in, so we'll do that. Um, over here. A few more Ibex over there. So, food is walking back in, and oh, yeah. Well, we know what we're going to be doing next episode. Thankfully, we have a lot of steel right here. So we could set up a solar panel, a battery. Batteries can be reinstalled, so we can take that back with us. And a couple of turrets. And kind of do something. Though, like I said, normally I like to surround it and contain it for at least a little while. The mechs will bust through a wall eventually. But give you a little bit of time to, you know, to kind of think about things. So we've got steel over here available to us um, over here there so we got plenty of resources um, I wonder if this will take burn damage never thought about burning out the ship now when it gets I'm trying to remember how this works you have to get it down below 50% and then the mech no that's right the mechanoids will come out as soon as it is in danger but they will hang around it until it hits 50% or less then they will come and attack you and go through the gauntlet and, and have our little wooden traps at least injure them a little bit. So those of you who have never seen Mechanoids, next episode is going to get a little interesting. We've got a couple of different kinds with a whole variety of weapons that they, that they can equip. And uh, also, a question I have for you guys that I don't know the I don't remember. And I've only seen it once in, in Beta 18. But that pattern, when this blew up, was it like this? 
Or did it go out three? Meaning there and there and there and there. I don't want to find out by having, you know, Klaus standing right here shooting through when this thing blows up and take him out too because it was actually a little bit bigger pattern. So if you happen to be playing the game and blow up a turret, kind of memorize the shape of that. Is it just what I've got here or is it a little bit further away? Otherwise, I guess there's no point in getting started on this yet. We need to devote a whole episode just to this. So we need to get started soon. So I think we're going to call this one done. It's been Noble Rambler, and you know what next one's going to be about. Catch you later. Bye-bye.